now let us quickly revise this lecture. In this lecture, we started the discussion with the types of chemical reactions. And yes, we are talking about the chemical reactions which are always followed by the organic compounds. The first type of the reaction is the combustion reaction. And here we discussed about the complete combustion. That is a process in which the complete combustion is there, clean blue flame is produced, carbon dioxide and water is produced along with the production of energy. And yes, the next one is the incomplete combustion. That is a process of combustion in which sufficient oxygen supply is not there. That is why there is a formation of carbon monoxide as well as ashes are produced and some unburnt carbon is also produced there. Along with that energy is also produced. Further, we discuss the combustion of saturated hydrocarbon. We took the example of methane when it combines with oxygen and simply it burns in the presence of sufficient oxygen supply, it will produce carbon dioxide, water along with that energy is produced. And yes, that is the formation of the clean blue flame that you can clearly see. Further, we discussed the combustion of unsaturated hydrocarbon that always results in the yellow flame production carbon monoxide production as well as there is the formation of unburnt carbon and yes energy is produced as well as water vapors are produced. Further we discussed here that some substances produce flame while some are not. If you are talking about candle there is a flame, if you are talking about charcoal there is not the flame. The reason behind that we discussed that if the substance contains some volatile impurities they will produce flame and if not then production of flame is not there. Then after that we discuss that formation of coal and petroleum and here we discuss the necessary condition those were the high pressure, high temperature, absence of air and the million of year. I have shown you the process with the help of diagrammatic representation and then we discussed the formation of petroleum also. In this case I have told you that coal was prepared from the dead and decaying plants while the petroleum was prepared from the aquatic animal, those small aquatic animals under high pressure and high temperature and after that I have shown you the process of the formation with the help of diagrams and then we discuss the next reaction that is the oxidation reaction. In the presence of alkaline KMnO4 or the acidified potassium dichromate and heating, alcohol can be converted into carboxylic acid and that is the oxidation process. And yes, combustion is also the oxidation process that I have told you. And after that we discuss the addition reaction, conversion of unsaturated hydrocarbon into the saturated one or simply the unsaturated organic compound into the saturated one. Then we discussed the hydrogenation of oils to be converted into vegetable solid fat. Then we discussed the bromine water test. For this bromine water test we took the unsaturated hydrocarbon, we have added the bromine drops inside that and ultimately the color will get disappeared. Further we discuss the elimination reaction, the reaction in which beta elimination will take place and the unsaturated product is formed. Then we discuss the substitution reaction, further we discuss the polymerization reaction, we took the example of conversion of ethene into polythene and simply monomer gets changed into polymer. And yes, this was the whole content of our today's lecture. Thank you so much for watching.